Transportation has evolved so much over time from rideshare apps to autonomous vehicles. Now one company is taking technology even further with hopes to bring air taxis to the Houston area one day. It's a pilotless flight that could help you avoid traffic. KTU 11 News Julissa Garza gives us a closer look. Since 2010, the company Whisk has been working towards developing a first of its kind pilotless air taxi. The aircraft that you see behind me, it's our sixth generation aircraft and it's the one that we're going to bring to market. And with previous generations, we have over 1700 autonomous flights already um, uh, that we have tested. The goal is to have short term flights and they want to provide that service in the greater Houston area. And so think about going from Sugarland to Bush, um, you know, in about 10 minutes, uh, connecting some key areas uh, from airports to business centers, recreational centers. So it's really about adding a new sustainable mode of transport uh, to support mobility in the region. The company is now working with the city of Sugarland to make air taxis a reality. Sugarland city manager says they're excited to partner on a new concept that just might change the way we travel. Sugarland, which is really one of the key cities uh, in the Houston metro and really one of the most innovative uh, cities in, in the metro. The company is looking for a location within the Sugarland airport to develop what they call a vertiport. This would serve as a loading station for the flights. So have uh, um, the ability to host passengers to, to get on these flights and also have the ability to charge these aircrafts. You know, the aircraft we're building is, is fully electric. From there, they hope to expand, allowing people to take off from different places without the traffic. You know, we often hear about the jet sense that this still feels like far out into the future, but it's, it's coming much earlier than, than one might think. In Houston, Jalissa Garza, KHOU 11 News. The future, it is here. By the way, none of the flights have been tested with people on board, but the goal is to have two to four passengers at a time. The hope is for this to be up and running by the year 2030. No word yet on how much this would cost customers, but we'll be sure to keep you posted. But you got me at pilotless. I'm like, oh, wait. Mm -hmm. I'm getting on. There's nobody piloting. Check back with me in 2030. Let's yeah. take a ride. Right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Sounds you good. go first. <laughs>